Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this frame using slope deflection method. Before analyzing, let us see the frame one time. In this frame, we have the columns AB and CD. Also, we have the beam BC. In the column AB, there is no load. In the column CD, we have uniformly distributed load 6 kN per meter. It is acting towards the left side. In the beam BC, we have a point load 16 kN. The moment of inertia for the columns is 2i and for the beam it is i. Height of the columns is 4 meter and the length of the beam is 5 meter. Now let us find the kinematic indeterminacy of the frame. In this frame, in the joints B and C, there will be slope. In the joint B, we will have theta B and the joint C, we will have theta C. Additionally, there will be sway. We know that in this frame, the loading is not symmetrical. Because of this load, there will be sway. Since this load acts towards the left side, the sway also will be acting towards the left side. So, the kinematic indeterminacy of the frame is 3. They are the slope theta b, slope theta c and the sway delta. Now let us find the fixed end moments. In the column a, b there is no load. So the fixed end moments m of a, b and m of b, a are 0. In the beam b, c we have a point load acting in the center. The formulas to find the fixed end moments are minus WL upon 8 and positive WL upon 8. Here W is 16 and L is 5. After the calculation for M of BC we are getting minus 8 and for M of CB we are getting 8. Now let us find the fixed end moments in the column CD. In the column CD, we have uniformly distributed load 6 kN per meter acting for the full length. The formulas to find the fixed end moments are minus WL square upon 12 and positive WL square upon 12. Here W is 6 and L is 4. After the calculation for M of CD, we are getting minus 8 and for M of DC, we are getting 8. Now let us start making the slope deflection equations. First let us make them in the column AB. Since the column AB is subjected to sway with the slope deflection equations we have to add the sway moments 6EI delta upon L square. Since the sway occurs towards the left side the sway moments will be positive. In the equations, let us apply the fixed end moments which are 0. Length of AB is 4, let us apply that. The moment of inertia for AB is 2i. So instead of i, we have to apply 2i. In the point A, we have a fixed support. So there will be no slope. In this case, theta a will be 0. Finally, we have made two slope deflection equations in the column a, b. Now, let us make the slope deflection equations in the beam b, c. In the equations, first let us apply the fixed end moments. Length of b, c is 5. Let us apply that. Finally, in the beam b, c, we have made two equations. Now let us make the slope deflection equations in the column CD. Since the column CD is subjected to sway, with the equations we have to add the sway moments. Let us apply the fixed end moments. Length of CD is 4. Let us apply that. The moment of inertia for CD is 2i. So instead of i, we have to apply 2i. In the point D, we have a fixed support. 
so there will be no slope theta d will be zero finally in the column c d we have made two equations now let us make the joint equilibrium equations in the joint b when we add the moments mba and mbc it will be zero let us apply the expressions for MBA and MBC from the slope deflection equations. After adding both of them, we are getting this equation. In the joint C also, when we add the moments MCB and MCD, it will be 0. From the slope deflection equations, let us apply the expressions for MCB and MCD. Let us add both of them. After adding, we are getting this equation. We know that in this analysis, there are three unknowns, theta b, theta c and delta. To find these three unknowns, we need three equations. But right now, only we have two equations. Let us see how to make the third equation, that is the shear equation. To make the shear equation, we have to find the horizontal reactions in the points A and D. First, let us take the column AB and find the horizontal reaction in the point A. When we make the shear equation, we have to be very careful. We have to assume that the horizontal reaction HA is acting towards the right side and the movements MAB and MBA are acting in the clockwise direction. To find HA, let us take moment about B. In this case, we are moving right hand side. Clockwise will be positive and anticlockwise will be negative. HA is acting in the anticlockwise direction. So that will be negative and the distance is 4. So minus 4 HA. The moments are acting in the clockwise direction. So both of them are positive. We can take minus 4 HA on the other side, so it will become positive. Finally, for HA, we have made the expression MAB plus MBA upon 4. Now, let us take the column CD and find the horizontal reaction HD. Here also, we have to assume that HD is acting towards the right side and the moments MDC and MCD are acting in the clockwise direction. To find HD, let us take moment about C. In this case, we are moving towards left hand side. Clockwise will be negative and anticlockwise will be positive. HD is acting in the anticlockwise direction, so that will be positive. And the distance is 4, so 4 HD. Both of the moments are acting in the clockwise direction, so both of them are negative. The uniformly distributed load is also acting in the clockwise direction, so it is also negative. For the uniformly distributed load, we have to multiply with the distance and the distance by 2. We can take these three values on the other side, so all of them will be positive. Let us take 4 on the other side, so it will come in the denominator. 48 upon 4 is 12. So for HD, we have made this expression. Now in the frame, let us apply the rule sigma h is equal to 0. HA and HD are acting towards the right side, so both of them are positive. The UDL is acting towards the left side, so that will be negative. For the UDL, we have to multiply with the distance, so 6 into 4. Previously, we have made the expressions for HA and HD. Let us apply them. 6 into 4, we will get 24. 12 minus 24, we will get a minus 12. When we take minus 12 on the other side, it will become positive. In these two terms, 4 is common. We can take it on the other side. 12 into 4, we will get a 48. For MAB, MBA, MCD and MDC, let us apply the expressions from the slope deflection equations. Then we have to add all of them. After adding all of them, we are getting this equation. Let us keep this equation as number 9. Now we have got 3 equations, 7th one, 8th one and 9th one. 
Let us take a calculator and solve these three equations. If you do not know how to solve three equations in the calculator, see the description below. There is a link. You can click the link and watch the video. I have used the calculator and got the values of Ea theta b, Ea theta c and Ea delta. When we apply the values of Ea theta b and Ea delta in the equation number 1 and 2, we are getting MAB and MBA. When we apply the values of Ea theta b and Ea theta c in the equation number 3 and 4, we are getting MBC and MCB. When we apply the values of Ea theta c and Ea delta in the equation number 5 and 6, we are getting MCD and MDC. In this analysis, we have calculated all of the moments. Now, let us find the horizontal reactions in the column AB. Previously, we have made this expression. Using this expression, we can find HA and using the rule sigma H is equal to 0, we can find HB. Now, let us find the vertical reactions in the beam BC. When we take moment about to C, we can find VB and by applying this rule, we can find VC. Now, let us find the horizontal reactions in the column CD. We have made this expression previously. Using this expression, we can find HD and then we can apply the rule sigma H is equal to 0 and find HC. Here, you can see the shear force diagram we can draw the bending moment diagram by superposition method. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.